Hi all, I am Basil Saman. I am tech student of IES College of Engineering. I am here with topic Terzaghi's theory. First of all, who is Terzaghi? Karl von Terzaghi was an Austrian mechanical engineer, geotechnical engineer and also a geologist. He is known as the father of soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering. Now, the entire soil mechanics is relied on Karl von Terzaghi's theories. Until Terzaghi formed, formally developed the field of soil mechanics, geotechnical engineering relied almost exclusively on experience and guesswork only. One of his main theory was Terzaghi's theory of consolidation. Terzaghi's theory of consolidation is also known as Karl von Terzaghi's principle. It states that all quantifiable changes in stress to a soil that will be compression, deformation, shear resistance are a direct result of change in effective stress. The effective stress sigma dash is related to total stress sigma and pore pressure u and denoted by relationship delta sigma is equal to delta sigma dash plus u where delta sigma is the change in total stress and delta sigma dash is change in effective stress u is the pore pressure now assumptions made regarding to these theories are first one the soil is homogeneous and fully saturated second soil particles are and pore water are incompressible third the flow of water during expulsion of pore water occurs only in the vertical direction so that the theory is called one dimensional consolidation theory fourth one the change in volume of soil due to consolidation is negligible compared to the initial volume of soil flow is laminar and Darcy's law is valid sixth one permeability is the same throughout the thickness of the compressible soil layer. Seventh, the coefficient of volume compressibility noted by small mv remains constant with the time. Eight, compression takes place only due to expulsion of pore water. Stages like in consolidation like initial and secondary consolidation is neglected in this theory. Ninth, the coefficient of consolidation for a given soil and site condition is assumed to be constant. Validity of Terzaghi's theory is relied by these six points and uh, let's discuss about it. First of all, assumption 1, 2 and 4 are reasonable and valid for most particles practical situations. 1, 2 and 4 deals with the homogeneous and saturated condition and about incompressibility of pore water and fourth one deals with change in the volume of soil due to consolidation is negligible so these three are valid for most practical situations next point consolidation is generally three dimensional field it is not one dimensional but later it theory includes effect of 3d consolidation also third one assumption 5 is valid for most fine graded soils where the hydraulic gradient are sufficiently high assumption 5 deals with the laminar flow and rc slow assumption 6 may be also valid for most practical cases where the clay layer is homogeneous assumption 6 is deals with the permeability of <coughs> permeability of soil throughout the layer next is coefficient of volume compressibility that is mv is found to vary with variation in effective stress Assumption 8 is valid for most inorganic clays of medium compressibility with increased 
assumption 8 deals with combustion takes place only due to expulsion of water so with the increased presence of sand or silt in a soil the initial consolidation may be more so, terms related to Terzaghi's theory is described here first one degree of consolidation degree of consolidation also known as consolidation ratio and consolidation ratio is denoted by the progress of consolidation at any time given to the location z in the compressible layer so it will be the depth and denoted by u the equation rho by rho into 100 next one is time factor time factor is denoted by capital t equation for finding out time factor is given by cv into t by d square where cv is the coefficient of consolidation which is a property of soil and can be determined from laboratory consolidation test and unit of cv will be centimeter square per second and small t is denoted by time corresponding to a given degree of consolidation small d represent length of drainage path for finding out time factor cv and d are constants relationship between t and u are given for the following equations t is equal to pi pi for u square if u that is degree of consolidation is less than or is equal to 60 percentage when degree of consolidation is greater than 60 percentage then t will be equal to minus 0 0.9332 log 10 1 minus u minus 0 0.0851 here in this page here the variation of u with tv is shown and also you can see three cases are represented for tv here case 1 is applicable for uniform pressure distribution for both open layer and half closed layer as you you can see in that figure and this is also applicable for triangular distribution of pressure in the case of open layers and case 2 is applicable for triangular distribution of pressure for half closed layer with the maximum pressure near the drainage phase as you can see in, see in the figure shown at the top of the column and in case 3 is applicable for triangular distribution of pressure for half closed layer but with the zero pressure near in the drainage phase in case 2 it is maximum pressure in the drainage phase and in case 3 it is zero in the near the pressure phase near the drainage phase sorry now here a graph is shown with u tv curve and three curves are shown related to that column shown the table before limitations of terzaghi's theory first one the value of coefficient of consolidation has been assumed to be constant in this theory but in actual condition it did not con it will be not constant second the drainage distance drainage path distance d cannot be measured accurately in the field and third one the thickness of the post of the deposit is generally variable and an average value has to be estimated for finding out the parameters and next the equation is based on the assumption that consolidation is one dimensional in the field actually we know the consolidation will be three dimensional initial consolidation and secondary consolidation have been neglected but sometimes these forms an important part of the total consolidations in the field in actual the next one the actual practice the pressure distribution may be far from linear or uniform 
now here we come up with determination of coefficient of consolidation how we can determine the constant or finding out the time factor and other parameters coefficient of consolidation can be found out by using laboratory consolidation test each time you put a load increment on the sample you monitor the change in height of the sample over time the similarity between theoretical curve and curve obtained by laboratory result are used for determination of cv the major methods used for finding out the cvs are square root of time fitting method and logarithmic of time fitting method the methods are mainly known as fitting methods first one square root of time fitting method it's proposed by taylor in 1948 and the steps are described below first we should plot dial reading and the corresponding square root of time according to the laboratory values obtained that is shown in figure 3 here you can see that thick black line is shown by the curve by practical evaluation of consolidation test and now draw a tangent dq to the early portion of the plot here tangent you can see the tangent dq d lies on the y axis and dq eq is drawn tangent to that curve obtained by the test here and uh, next step we do we know equation that is o r is equal to 1.15 oq like that the distance on the x axis can be found out by using equation o r is equal to 1.15 oq this equation is came up with point that the theoretical curve u versus root tv will be straight line up to 60 percentage of consolidation and the abscissa of curve at 90 percentage of consolidation is 1.15 times the abscissa of an extension of the straight line that can be shown in the theoretical curve so by using this equation o the point o r is determined from r you can draw a line to the point d on the y axis now mark the point e which intersect the curve and draw a perpendicular downwards to the axis x axis now you will get the value for root t90 by getting value of root t90 and value of t for u at 90 percentage you can find out the value of coefficient of consolidation at this point by using equation t d square by t by finding out the value of 90 percentage from the graph that shown before will be value for t will be 0.848 so finally equation for cv will be 0.848 h square h or d square by t90 now moving on to next method that is logarithmic of time fitting method in this method also known as 
Cassegrain is logarithmic of time fitting method. Here also the dial readings and settlement are taken from laboratory and the graph is plotted. And it is shown in figure 4. In figure 4, the distance the Z is marked related to a value T1 and T2 where two points are selected such that T1 will be is equal T2 will be is equal to 4 T1 on the x axis it is noted and related to that curve intersect are drawn to that curve so when T2 is equal to 4 T1 the distance on the y axis corresponding to these times are taken as z and the correct depth z is taken beyond t1 level and you will get the value of u you will get a line related to dial gauge reading at a zero degree of consolidation where u will be zero and now select or draw two tangents at the curvy portion below the curve and when two tangents drawn are intersect at a point this point will give the value of r100 on the y axis so a middle point is to find out on r0 and r100 that will give T50 relating to that R50. So by getting the value of T50 and T at 50 percentage of consolidation degree of consolidation, T can be found out. And by using equation CV is equal to TD square by T, we can found out CV. Now problems related to theory of consolidation is discussed below the first problem a 3 meter thick clay layer beneath a building is overlined by a permeable stratum and is underlined by a impervious rock the coefficient of consolidation of the clay was found to be 0 0.025 centimeter square per minute the final expected settlement for the layer is 8 centimeter first question a how much time will it take for 80% of the total settlement to take place? B. Determine the time corresponding required for a settlement of 2.5 cm to occur. Third. Compute the settlement that will occur in one year. Now we can move on to solution. The given data is are D is equal to 300 cm depth and coefficient of consolidation 0 0.025 first question is a how much time will it take for 80 percentage of the total settlement so we use equation cv is equal to t d square by t and cv is given t is to be found out and here t is found out by figure 2 using that graph shown before from that graph we will get value of capital T 0 0.567 here we have to found small t so by direct substitution you will get the answer t is equal to 3.883 years second to found out the settlement when settlement is 2.5 centimeter the time required for the settlement 2.5 centimeter is to be found out here the degree of consolidation are determined by 2.5 by total settlement that is equal to 2.5 by rho by rho f into 100 by using that equation we will get u is equal to 31.25 from table t is should be found out using that u value and capital t is found out by using 
equation that is found out earlier here using this t is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to t direct substitution of here t value 0 0.078 we will get small t is equal to 195 days next question was to found out the settlement occur in one year converting one year into days and equalizing it to the equation for t that found out earlier we will get the value of capital t that will be 0 0.146 and from the table that shown in figure 2 we can obtain the value of u by using the value of t and the settlement can be found by multiplying the total settlement and this will be equal to 3.432 images next moving on to next question regarding this topic an area is underlined by a stratum of clay layer 6 meter thick the layer is doubly drained and has a coefficient of consolidation cv 0 0.3 meter square per month first question how long will it take for surcharge load to cause a settlement of 40 centimeter if the same load caused the final settlement of 60 centimeter Second, if the sand drains at S will be spacing 3 meter and omega is equal to 0.30 are used to determine the time required for 90% consolidation. While take CV is equal to 2 meter square per month and assume the triangular layout of drain and neglect vertical consolidation in this case. Now moving on to solution of this problem given by data for first problem is cv is 0 0.3 meter square per month degree of consolidation u rho by rho if into 100 with substituting values we will get u is equal to 66.67 percentage and from graph that relating to from table that relating to u and tv we will get value of t as 0 0.364 by using common equation for coefficient of consolidation td square by t where small t will be 0 0.364 into 3 into 3 into by 0 0.30 here small t can be found out that will be is equal to 10.92 months now moving on to the next problem the r r is the r value for triangular drain will be can be found out by using equation 0 0.525 into s spacing we have studied this equation earlier and uh, by substituting values we will get r value 1.575 meter and substituting r and r Ega in equation for n we will get the value of n is equal to 5.25 from figure 5 that is shown here ur is equal to 90 percentage n is equal to 5.25 we have value in this table for ur is equal to 90 percentage and n is equal to 5 we will get the value of tr is equal to 0 0.270 by obtaining the value of t here we can found out the value of small t by using equation tr is equal to cvt by 4 r square and we will obtain by substituting all these values t will be equal to 1.34 months hope you understood the topic clearly and if you have any doubts regarding this topic please Comment below this section. Thank you.